right, so today is the beginning of a six day bucket for me. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and bust out these six days. So right now, um, so last night they pre-assigned me a two day trip and we're staying over in Dallas, Texas. So right now I'm at the dreaded BWI once again. Y'all literally the, the drive here was an hour and 20 minutes. Like absolutely ridiculous. Um, and y'all left the house at like, like 2.30 and it is officially 4.35 right now. So my report time here is 4.45. So I'm here a few minutes early, but yeah, so. Um, D16. All right, so we are going from BWI to Houston and then Houston to Dallas. So that is the plan for today. And then tomorrow it's just two legs as well. It's just um, Dallas to Denver and then Denver back to BWI. And that is all. So this should be a cute little trip. I wish there was a deadhead somewhere here, but I guess. So, I'm just ready to get these. Um, technically, I'm only working nine days right now because I'm on for six days. I'm off for one. I'm back on for three days. I'm thinking about dropping one of those three days and only working for two days. But, and then after that, I'm off for two weeks. And then I'm working the last six days of the month. So, um, I'm trying to figure myself out. I kind of, I kind of want to do that. I don't know. We'll see how things go. So I have officially gotten settled on the plane, did my pre-flights, put up my bags and everything. So now I'm just looking at the link. Um, that's the one good thing about being here early and being able to like sit, get on the plane. Cause you get like your pre-flight done, you can just put all your bags up and everything. And if you're galley, you kind of get more time to like get your galley together, but I'm not galley, I'm in the aisle. So, um, so here I just kind of get to see like um, the time change. So we're going to Houston. Um, the link tells us that um, it's going to be a one hour time change. And it says minus one. So meaning that it's going to be an hour behind us. Um, minimum FAs on board. Um, your check-in time. Everybody's check-in time. What time boarding time is and stuff. Um, it tells you like the scheduled block time for the flight. And then the scheduled flight time, the actual flight time. And then like the capacity and how many passengers you have and if you have like what's going to be the meal on the flight and if you have any wheelchairs um any special needs and stuff like that so you kind of get to like look through and just kind of you know get a vibe and see what's going to be going on with the um with the flight and then i also get to see i also usually go to the app and i get to kind of see like how many standbys we have how many open seats what a the app shows us how many open seats the in-flight app but um i like to see how many standbys to see if like all the standbys are on i don't know how it feels being a standby trying to get somewhere so i'm always looking at that as well but yeah other than that everything else looks to be good Alrighty, we are headed to our next flight yeah oh I don't smell anything. Ugh. Oh, I smell it now. Okay. Ugh. I smell like a dog pooped all up and down the jet bridge. That's what it smells like. Um, but we are in Houston, 
and we are getting on the Airbus and we're headed to Dallas. Flight is super, super quick. It's like 50 minutes, which is great. I'm ready to get to my room. You vlog? Yeah. You want to be on it? I don't know how it works. No, I ju you just say what hello. What I say? Okay. Oh. Say hey! Hi. So that's my <laughs> classmate, Lynette. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. All right. I don't even know where I put my bag. Oh, oh just put it somewhere. <laughs> You're at the front by yourself, so I don't think anyone would even care. It's an all reserve crew again for this today. So, y'all, we had a whole catastrophe on my last flight. I can't talk about it in detail, but just know it was a mess. And I thought everything was fine. Just communicate with your crew, y'all. Please, just, just communicate. <sighs> All right. guys we are in the room so let's see y'all can see my view yeah no nothing all right so this is the room uh, so it has like this little nook here table the chair the what is that called uh, Yeah, these tables, <laughs> one bed, and then this whole drawer up here. Thank God for this water, because I did not get any water off the plane. So, yep, yep, for a mirror. And here's the bathroom. Okay, so this is the bathroom, toilet. And then the shower. All right, so we are in the room. Put my do not disturb tag on the door. Cause y'all saw so if you're staying late, later like in the afternoon, your check-in time. So we have a report tomorrow at like 108, but we're gonna leave here at 12.30. So when you leave your room and it's like way later than checkout, you know, usually checkout is like 10 or 11 or something. So if it's later than that, then yeah, you need to definitely put the do not disturb, but still even regardless, just put it on there just in case. Cause you just never know people, you know, sometimes they still just walk in your room. But anyways, um, so if anybody is watching this from like the hotels and stuff, please understand that crew members really, really appreciate when we get complimentary water I'm, and I'm not like water is cool but when it's complimentary water thank you we we greatly appreciate it because like i said nobody on like my crew none of us all of us were like oh man we forgot to get um either a bottle of water or at least pour some into our containers or whatever before we got the plane for our layovers if we don't get provided crew waters on the plane then we have our own little containers and we can pour some water into that so we forgot so since we forgot, 
it's like okay now they're like oh man now i gotta go find somewhere to go buy some water so now they're trying to like go across the street to go get some water me no ma'am i'm not i got some water i was just like i'm just gonna deal with what i got i have a little bit but not as much because i was drinking it on the plane so the fact that we actually get complimentary water here at this place i'm very grateful so thank you thank you to all the hotels that offer complimentary waters to either whoever guests crew members whatever it doesn't matter as long when you offer complimentary water thank you so much it is greatly appreciated i don't think you understand how much it is appreciated and i don't even think they realize that oh there's some water in the room and it's free but i mean whatever your girl was not done was not down to go buy some some water so I'm just gonna make it do what it do with what i got all right well i'm headed I'm gonna go take my shower and then lay down i'm gonna go ahead and edit this video and get it posted um and get it scheduled since tomorrow's tuesday so it can go up on time because we're getting like really late to bwi so i just want to make sure it goes up on time tomorrow yeah so not too much but that's about it i will see you guys in tomorrow afternoon because we report um yeah at 108 but i'll be leaving the room at 12 30. so yeah i'll see you guys then do y'all hear it y'all i've been dealing with this all morning i have not been able to get any sleep because of that I literally got maybe like four hours of sleep and then all of a sudden that started like it has just been a terrible terrible experience here at this hotel in Dallas like terrible no sleep it's all I keep hearing is that noise I'm very irritated at this point I'm trying to relax my last 10 minutes before I have to get dressed so I will speak to you guys then but I want you guys to hear this noise that I've been hearing all day. Yo, look. It's a vacuum. <laughs> I have another one over there vacuuming. It's so cute. All right. Let's head on downstairs. Hi, guys. So we are officially done. Ladies, would you like to say bye-bye to my vlog? <laughs> we had a really good run the three of us <laughs> yeah it was it was a really good two-day trip now everybody's trying to figure out where the shuttle comes and picks us up <laughs> so we can go and park well so we can go pick up our cars all right guys um this concludes this probably short vlog but it was just a two day. They love giving me two days, y'all, unless it's an international and it's a three day. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.